Hi, my name is Bella Gray. This is my video discussion about the Truett Cathy story. Um, my reflection on Truett was definitely, I definitely liked the way that everyone else saw Truett. Um, they all saw the same person. They all described the same kind of guy. They all described, you know, this, this guy that, you know, put care and, and time and, and money into helping people. And, you know, he didn't have, you know, multiple different masks. You know, one person didn't see him a completely different way that somebody else did. You know, his, his, what, what, how his wife and his kids viewed true, viewed true it and his sister viewed true it. Like how his family viewed true it is how everybody else viewed true it. Like they knew this, they had that, they all had that personal connection with him because he allowed, allowed people to, you know, know him like that personally. And, and he wanted to know everybody else like that personally because he, he cared. And, um, you know, I think that's, that to me describes like a true person. Like he really was definitely somebody who truly didn't do it for the money, you know, no, knowing that he, he had the same kind of, you know, attitude and personality as to everyone else, you know, tells me that that's what he did it for. He did it for the people. He did it to help people. He, he did it because he loved it. And he, you know, he wanted to grow his family. And he definitely did through, you know, the organizations that he all started up, like the church and the foster homes. And, you know, uh, he just, he put himself out there as that, you know, that friendly, that friendly, you know, neighborhood grandpa that everybody loves. You know, he, he definitely was that guy that, you know, everybody wanted to be around, you know, he just was, you know, like this, this spotlight that, you know, everybody just, you know, loved. And he was definitely, you know, a guy that you, you wanted to get to know you, you know, you wanted to bring your friends around to know him, to show, Hey, like, I know this guy, like, you know, because he was just that kind of guy. And I think a lot of businesses now don't apply that anymore. And I think that's absolutely disgusting. Um, I mean, we all know fast food is not the most, not the people with the best kind of attitude there. I mean, sometimes here, here and there, you'll get the old lady that, you know, calls you hun, you know, smiles at you, has a good attitude. Um... Here and there, you'll, you'll have that lady. But most of the time, you know, you don't get that personal or connection, that kind of family vibe connection when, you know, you order food or, you know, it's, they don't, you know, those workers don't care about the job. They don't care about the quality of their job. They're just, they're clocking in and they're clocking out and they're waiting until that paycheck comes. I mean, that's all they're there for. That's all they live for at the time. Um, and... I, I definitely think that a lot of businesses, um, they shouldn't, businesses should not have to enforce that kind of, you know, you treat everybody with respect, you know, treat them as, you know, your family, your friends, you know, they shouldn't have to enforce that rule. They should, they should hire people who already enforce that themselves, who, who they should hire people who are like true it, you know, because I mean, you know, kind of, like, there's there's so many, like, bad reviews online and just negative, negative experiences that people, that ruin places for everybody because of the, the kinds of workers that people hire. And I definitely think that when I start my own business, I'm definitely going to put that, you know, that family, you know, that personal connection that Truett put in because... You know, yes, I do kind of want to grow my, my business for the money, but I, I want to be that, that, that owner that everybody, you know, like knows that everybody loves, you know, that I, I want to have that kind of, that, that, I don't know how to explain it, that picture that I want to be, I want to (laughs) be, Like the how everyone how everyone views to it, I want to have that same view for myself, but from everybody else. You know what I mean? Like I, 
I want everybody to think that the same thing of me, you know, and see me as a true person. And, you know, because he definitely, that I do believe that you, that's how you grow a business is by being friendly, by being, having that personal care and just having that great quality and, and care, you know, into the work that you do. Because when you don't care about the work that you do, you're going to do a sloppy job. No one's, no one appreciates a sloppy job. And, and it's, it's not going to get you far because it's, it's not professional. You, you know, you should care about the work that you do. You should be proud of the work you do. And true, it definitely was. And I think for me to be proud of myself, um, I definitely want, I definitely care more about what people view of me, um, as a person, as, as a business leader, as, you know, future business owner and later um I you know I don't want that I don't want negative responses you know on my business I don't want people to say bad things about my business I want people to say good things I want people to say oh you know I I go to her because you know over everybody else because you know she's just so friendly she provides you know a great quality service she cares about what she does she's proud of what she does you know, I, I want that for myself and I don't want people to, you know, say that they're never going to come back to me because of the way I've treated them or the kind of quality service I've, I've provided. Um, and you know, if I, you know, hire people, um, to come, you know, work for me, if I have employees, I, I'm not going to hire people who aren't going to care, who aren't going to be you know, providing, you know, the same kind of quality and care that Truett did. Um, I, that's just not something I'm gonna allow to happen because I currently work for a business who that's kind of their policy is that they care for everybody. Everybody loves to go to them. You know, they, they, they have workers who, you know, provide quality care and that personal experience. And that's not true at all. I mean, especially with the managers, it's, it's not true. I mean, the managers are, are terrible. They don't communicate. And it's it's overall just kind of eye-opening to let me know, like, yeah, I'm not going to run my business like this. And it kind of really motivates me to not want to grow with this business that, I, that I'm working for currently because it's I, I'm embarrassed that I work for them. And I don't want, you know, my future workers to be embarrassed that they've ever worked for me. So that personal care, that, that quality service, you know, that personal connection, you know, is definitely, I think, the key to growing a successful business, having a successful business. Um, you know, without that, I, I genuinely don't think you're going to get far, you know, and it's definitely not going to get far with other people if, you know, they know that you know that you don't care about the workers that you hire, you know, you just need somebody to fill in the position, so the person you end up filling in the position is somebody who doesn't care, and, I mean, how, how far is that going to get you in, you know, business, I mean, I also worked for another company, I, Subway, um, who hired a bunch of people who did not care about their job, and it was, and it's the worst rated restaurant in my town currently the worst the experience and like the workers that i that i worked with and the kind of quality and like attitudes that they gave is so unprofessional and i am definitely embarrassed to say that i worked there and i whenever somebody asks me oh like how many jobs have i had or where where have i all worked at i don't include that one you know i i'm just too embarrassed to like even say it but yeah true it true it definitely is kind of the business, you know, his, his way of running a business is the way I want to run a business, you know, and yeah, money is important to me, but I feel like I'm going to care more about what people think of me. And I think in a way that can be toxic sometimes, but when you care about how people view of you and you want people to to think of you as being a nice person and, you know, to, that provides that good quality, 
I think that that's a positive way, you know, to go about business. So thank you.